Hello everybody. Today we learn how to georeference a vector file. Georeferencing a vector file is not straightforward option available in any software. In fact, this is more of a special adjustment than the actual georeferencing. This is required in case say you have digitized an image that is not georeferenced and the resultant shape file you want to assign spatial coordinates. All you need is an image or a file that is georeferenced and the shape file that is to be georeferenced. First open the software ArcMap and load the georeferenced image. This is the image I have that is georeferenced which is in UTM coordinate system. You can just zoom to that layer to see the file. This is the file. Now you need to open the shape file that you want to assign coordinates to. Open the file that will not sit on the image as it is not georeferenced. To see the file just zoom to that layer and here it is. This is the shape file that is not georeferenced but you want to georeference with respect to this image. First of all we need to find out where this shape should sit. We will go to that image and look for the place where it has to sit. In fact you will be knowing that since you would have digitized that area. In this particular image that shape file has to sit over this. Now we will go to global extent which means both these files are in this screen now. You cannot see the shape file because it is neither to scale nor georeferenced. So now there is a requirement to find out where does it come exactly and bring it over here thereafter do the spatial adjustment part. Go to editor and start editing you will be asked which file to edit you will specify the same shape file that you want to georeference and put start editing and go to that layer now you select that file once you select that file it is easily movable it can be moved now next job is to get this shape file very close to the image from where you can select GCPs. Now we will go to global extents. Now you can see here is this shape file. This shape file I will just drag it on to the image. Have dragged it on the image and we will zoom that area. Now here is your shape file and here is your feature. Now there is a requirement to use a spatial adjustment toolbar. Here is your spatial adjustment toolbar. If it is not available you can right click here and select it from the list. Here it is. Now you put it back in its place and we'll start the process. Again you need to select common points. Say I'll select this to be the first point. Always make sure that your shape is in editing mode and it is selected otherwise this process will not work. In the spatial adjustment go to the displacement link that is new displacement link and click on the point of interest. Now zoom out you can just use the scroll down and uh, scroll up functions in your mouse to zoom in and zoom out the image. Now that particular point was corresponding to this point. So I'll just click at that point. 
so I have put the first point now I need to select at least two more points to do the spatial adjustments I will go for next points say this one we'll try to find whether the same point is available in the image here it is this is the point I was talking about I'll select that point and zoom out now you click the second point in its place here is the point I'll select this point here and I am done with two points now I need to specify another point probably I would go for this point be very careful while uh, selecting these points or a single wrong point can spoil the entire process this is the point I was talking about I'll select this point and zoom out as in the earlier case choose the corresponding point in the image this one is the point just click on that to be more precise you can zoom in further and uh, move the map left right up down to get the pinpoint accuracy now that you have placed all three points you can do the spatial adjustments however you can uh, select a few more points to be more accurate go to spatial adjustments and click adjust button now there you go your shape file is georeferenced now just to verify you can just uh, remove and put it back to see whether it has sat on its exact location yes it has this is how you can do spatial adjustments or georeferencing of a vector file in ArcGIS that's all in this tutorial